tail was driving it and it started to get a little warm well too warm and it ends up it has a blown head gasket oh. cool in there. Thought it'd be fine. I mean, it was a little low thought it might just have a little leak let it go too long so we have no car to work on now but Kale got a new car. This thing. What year is it? 2000. 2000 Subaru Legacy Outback. Mm -hmm. Last person, plasti dip in the front and sides. Pretty badly. Yeah, it's a terrible job. Hood turned out pretty good though. It's, we were going to do black anyways. So this is going to be the new project. Moving in the subs. We got some new speakers. Hopefully those fit in this. Yeah. Yeah, he's on his way to get suspension part fixed and overheated it is a little rusty but it was a thousand dollars has eight hundred okay oh you got for eight hundred yeah, all right eight hundred dollars posted for a thousand posted as thousand firm yeah it wasn't too firm on it <laughs> Been up there for how many days? Like 25? So yeah, we bring him down a bit. Not bad overall. 256,000 miles. So it's going to be the new rice project. I really don't want to do it because it's a Subaru, but... <laughs> might as well have some fun. Minimal interior damage. Yeah, we're gonna put the seat covers in. Yeah, it seemed like they'd fit in pretty well. Yeah, these ones will. I'm not sure about those ones. Mm. Six by nine is a little bit big. Maybe we might have to crop it. Make them fit. Yep, gonna have it boom in a little bit. So actually, I bought the Malibu for hundred dollars from Caleb. Probably gonna buy the gaskets, get it fixed, and maybe flip it for a little cash we can spend on some future videos. Clean it up a bit. Yeah, get all the blue off. We did fix the fender though a few days ago. Yeah. So it's not a giant dent, but turned out mediocre. Still a little bumpy, but a little fixing, smoothing went too bad. Yeah, it's a lot better than it was. Yeah, definitely. Windshield's all cracked still. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a good fit. <laughs> it's actually my splitter and you're borrowing it, but whatever. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is the thing I was talking about that broke apart, though. There's the fuse? No, this whole thing. Oh. I put the fuses in and then it just shattered. <laughs> so I bought a new one. Yeah, we're double amps now. Yeah, man. 300 and a 400? Yes. There's already a slot where I could put this deck in. Just take it out of this frame. Yeah, the stock one's pretty big. No, but like right under it, there's that slot, oh. and it has the side pieces, so I could just have you know roll of two radios. Over there. <laughs> I mean, one has a weather broadcast yeah, signal gotta, on you it. Gotta keep a weather broadcast. That's a Subaru specialty. Yeah. Another good thing came with a spare wheel. <laughs> yeah. Something the Malibu didn't have. 
It's under this thing right here. Right there. Melu doesn't have that. <laughs> well, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Is that even the one for the car? It fits. I don't know if it's for this car, but it fits on the. It fits. Yeah. We actually do have some Koenig Universal wheels. Might fit on this. Might. I don't know. This might. They're ni 19s? I think they might be 20s. I don't know. Yeah, these are 16s. I don't know if I have enough room. Maybe. Depends on how wide they are. They wouldn't fit in the Malibu because this is really close up to the tire. We were thinking about getting some spacers for it, but. It would work. It would. Yeah, if we got spacers, it'd work fine. Want to start it up so we can hear it? Oh. Open the garage door a bit. We're Give it a little rev. Rain is <laughs> Yeah, we need, that needs to be worked out. Yeah, we need to take the cat off this or something. Yeah. That's that's what we put this on there, honestly. <laughs> right. Alright, turn it off. <laughs> Only problem with this car? Transmission dipstick is stuck. Alright, I'll show him that. <laughs> Just like all the other legacies, it's way back in here. See it? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I but broke. I think I busted the like the ring on it. This thing's not coming out. No. Let's see if I can get a better view in it. Yeah? No? It's right there. No. No. <laughs> like I try I put a rope around the little ring. It bust it broke my little rope. <laughs> Yeah. Got up under the car, tried to like put a screwdriver and a hammer to the top. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to decide about that when we go to the college. Yeah. See what we can do. And if all comes to worse, cut it and then buy one from the junkyard. Something. Yeah. I've never seen that in a car though. No? Transmission dipstick being stuck? Apparently I had a lot of these. I was looking at some forums. Common problem. I've had three of these and I... Never had that? Never had it. I mean, just like every other Subaru. The hatch in the back. When you open it, there was rust stuck. But, never a problem. <laughs> and the seats are a little moldy, but I'm not really worried about that. You can always clean that out. Yeah, we need head rest for the back. Yeah, come with it. Still though, not bad underneath. It's a little rusty. Not as bad as the Malibu. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely improvement from the Malibu. Yeah, it's a big muffler. Just look at this mess of wires I've been installed. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Whew. 
So we're probably still gonna go with the manga bomb. Yeah. All right, oh, right here. Or should we just keep it on the mail? Well, first. We can probably do both. I mean, we have enough pages. We're gonna sell the Malibu. Right. You're gonna flip it, can't you? No. This is dented in right here. So we're actually probably gonna pound the fenders out of them. All of them. Give it a little flare. Mm -hmm. See if we can get our hands in a wheel roller. Or an arc wheel roller. roller. That'd be nice. Make it a lot easier. Make that real easy, Oh yeah, did you realize you're missing a lug nut on this wheel? Oh, is it coming one? <laughs> this is gonna be the one chrome one. Oh yeah, we do have some dip. Yeah, it'll fit. I was wondering why that was in there. <laughs> Throw it up here. Light coat first. Here, we have some actual plastic dip. Let's just use that. Is not? Oh, really? off brand. Yeah. Plastic is way better than off brand. <laughs> uh -oh. Not plugged in. Right. Yeah, it's a little loud, so we'll just continue afterwards. If it starts. Okay, we're back. Put the first coat on. You want us to take all this plastic dip off and redo it? All of it? Do we have enough? I mean, not right now, but. Well, this, eventually, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is ugly right now. This is fucking terrible. Did not know what they were doing. Cracks in it, it's got drips in it, it's got ripples in it. It's flapping off. I mean, the hood turned out fine, but oh, everything yeah. else is just terrible. Shitty outside. No, it's in the inside. Fucking great. We could take it off and check. That one is like, look at this. It's not even fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it stays there, so. Yeah. Good the Malibu one's hold on by freaking wires. <laughs> And duct tape. And duct tape. I do want to see one of these all one color though, because you never see them that way. That's true. They're always a factory two tone. Mm -hmm. So this video is going to end right now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment any suggestions for the Subaru. Now that the Malibu's dead, <laughs> we have a new project on hand. Runs good. Looks nice. Mm -hmm. I did run transmission fluid into the differential on accident. Yeah. Only for a little bit. I changed it. I drained it and changed it. Don't worry. Rookie mistake. Subaru <laughs> got me all confused with this differential dipstick. I've never seen this shit before. I mean... I'm driving a Chevy Malibu here. It's not exactly that sophisticated. I mean, at least the rising sun will make sense now. It will. It won't be a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it still might be a disgrace. Yeah, it's still going to be a disgrace, but less so. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye, Caleb. Bye.